नमस्कार एंड वार वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर माय सर डॉक्टर प्रवीण कुमार साहू बिलोंगिंग टू गवर्नमेंट श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी कॉलेज सीतापुर छत्तीसगढ़ इंडिया एंड दिस इज ए लेक्चर पर्टेनिंग टू एम एस सी मैथमेटिक्स सेकेंड सेमेस्टर ऑफ सन गहिरा गुरु यूनिवर्सिटी सरगुजा अंबिकापुर छत्तीसगढ़ एंड द पेपर इज फर्स्ट पेपर एडवांस एबस्टेक एलजेब्रा पार्ट टू एंड द यूनिट इज थर्ड यूनिट एंड दिस इज माई थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन दिस थर्ड यूनिट एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ स्प्लेटिंग फील्ड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द लेक्चर First of all, we will see the points that we will discuss in this lecture. In this lecture, we will see example and questions based on the degree of splitting field over rational. Now, for the detail of what is splitting field and what is the degree of splitting field, you can see my lecture one and two. Now, here we will discuss some example and question of degree of splitting field over rational cube. First of all, see for example one. Find the degree of a splitting field of the polynomial x to the power five minus three x to the power three plus x squared minus three over q. This is now what we have. Let's assume f of x is equal to x to the power five minus three x to the power three plus x squared minus three. So its roots are given by f of x is equal to zero. Now what we have x to the power five minus three x to the power three plus x squared minus three is equal to zero. It will give us x squared minus three times x squared plus one is equal to zero. So either x squared minus three is equal to zero or x to the power three plus one is equal to zero. After solving it, we will get x is equal to plus minus under root three. And after solving x to the power three plus one is equal to zero, we will get x is equal to minus one minus omega and minus omega square. Therefore, roots of the given equation f x are plus minus under root three minus one minus omega and minus omega square. So we will get a splitting field by joining plus minus under root three minus one minus omega minus square omega square by joining this to rational cube. Or we can say we we will obtain the splitting field by adjoining under root three and omega to rational number because all this can be obtained by using omega and plus minus root three both can be obtained by using under root three because we know that uh, minus one can be written as minus of omega to the power three which is minus one and minus omega and this is minus omega of square. Now we know that x to square minus three is minimal polynomial of under root three over rational. So degree of x x square minus three is two, and x square plus x plus one is minimal polynomial omega over rational. So degree of x square plus x plus one is two. So degree of splitting field f over q will be two into two is equal to four. So that we have to find. We have to determine the degree of splitting field over rational. So for this question, it is four. Now let's see example two. Find the degree of splitting field of the polynomial x to the power four minus two over rational number. What we have? we assume let f of x is equal to x x to the power four minus two. So it can be written as x square square minus under root two square. Now we know that a square minus b square is a plus b and a minus b. So we will have f x is equal to x square minus under root two and x square plus under root two. Its roots are given by f of x is equal to zero. Means x square minus under root two is equal to zero and x square plus under root two is equal to zero. Now, after solving x square minus under root two is equal to zero, you will get x square two plus minus two to the power one by four. And after solving x square plus under root two is equal to zero, we will get x square two plus minus two to the power one by four iota. Therefore, the roots of the f of x are plus minus two to the power one by four and plus minus two to the power one by four iota. In the splitting field f over rational q. Can be obtained by adjoining plus minus two to the power one by four and plus minus two to the power one by four iota to rational. Means we can say we obtain a splitting field by adjoining two to the power one by four and iota to rational cube. Hence the degree of splitting field f over q will be four into two is equal to f. Now the question is find the degree of splitting field of the polynomial f x is equal to x to the power four plus x square plus one over rational number. Let we assume that f of x is equal to x to the power four plus x Plus one. Now, to find its root, we do what we do. We add and subtract x square. Then what we will have? F x is equal to x x to the power four plus x square plus one plus x square minus x square. We can write it as x x to the power four plus two x square plus one minus x square. Which can here this can be written as x square plus one whole square because a plus b whole square is a square plus two ab plus b square. So we will get x to the power four plus two x square plus one. Now. This is in the form of a square minus b square. So what we have a plus b and a minus b means what we have f x is equal to x square plus one plus x and x square plus one minus x. 
Hence, the root of the fx at t1 by f of x is equal to 0. So, we will have x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. After simplifying it, x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. We will get x is equal to minus 1 plus minus under root 3 iota by 2 or after solving x square minus x plus 1, we will get 1 plus minus iota under root 3 by 2. So, since we know that omega is equal to minus 1 plus iota root 3 by 2 and omega square is equal to minus 1 minus iota root 3 by 2. So, what we will have? Minus omega will be plus 1 minus iota root 3 by 2 and minus omega square will be 1 plus iota root 3 by 2. So, the roots of the given equation are can be written in the form of omega, omega square, minus omega and minus omega square. So, the splitting field F over rational can be obtained by adjoining omega, omega square, minus omega and minus omega square to rational. Or we can simply say we obtained a splitting field by adjoining omega to rational. So degree of f over q will be 2 because we know that x square plus x plus 1 is the minimal polynomial of omega over rational number. So the degree for this question will be 2. Now find the degree of a splitting field of polynomial x to the power 4 minus 5x square plus 6 over rational. We assume f of x is x to the power 4 minus 5x square plus 6. Now, its root are given by f of x is equal to 0. So, we will have x to the power 4 minus 5x square plus 6 is equal to 0. After solving it, we will get either x square minus 3 is equal to 0 or x square minus 2 is equal to 0. So, we will get x is equal to plus minus root 3 or x is equal to plus minus root 2. So, roots of the fx are given by plus minus root 2 or plus minus root 3. So, splitting field f is obtained by adjoining plus minus root 2 or plus minus root 3 to rational. Or we can say we obtained splitting field by adjoining root 2 and root 3 to rational. So, the degree of this splitting field f over rational will be 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Now, we have to find the degree of the splitting field x to the power 23 minus 1 over rational. We assume f of x is equal to x to the power 23 minus 1. Its root are given by f of x is equal to 0 means what we have? We have x to the power 23 minus 1 is equal to 0 means we have x to the power 23 is equal to 1. Now, we can write is x is equal to 1 to the power 1 by 23. No, we know that we can write 1 is cos 0 plus iota sin 0. Then we can write it as cos 2r pi plus 0 plus iota sin 2r pi plus 0. So, it will be x is equal to cos 2r pi by 23 plus iota sin 2r pi by 23. Here, r varies from 0, 1 up to 22. So, x can be written as cos 2 pi by 23 plus iota sin 2 pi by 23 to the power r. Or x can be written as beta to the power r, where beta is given by cos 2 pi by 23 plus iota sin 2 pi by 23. So, the roots of the given equation fx are given by 1 beta beta square up to beta to the power 22. Here, r varies from 0, 1 to 22. That's why we have obtained 1 beta beta square up to beta to the power 23. So, the splitting field of the given equation over rational is obtained by adjoining 1 beta beta square up to beta to the power 22 over uh, to rational means we can say we obtained a splitting field by adjoining beta to rational q so the degree of this splitting field f over q will be the degree of the minimal polynomial of beta and we know that the degree of this minimal polynomial is 20 so answer of this question is 20 now let's try to generalize this means what we have to prove we have to prove that the splitting field of x to the power p minus 1 over rational is p minus 1. Means what we have, we have a p as a prime number and we have to find the splitting field of x to the power p minus 1. How we will do it? First of all, we want, uh, we want to find the root of the x to the power p minus 1 is equal to 0. So, we write it as x to the power p minus 1 is equal to 0. What we will have? x to the power p is equal to 1. So, what we will have? x is equal to 1 to the power 1 by p. Then, we know that from trigonometry, 1 can be written as cos 0 plus iota of sin 0. So, it will be x is equal to cos 0 plus iota of sin 0 to the power 1 by p. Now, we can write it as x is equal to cos 2 r pi plus 0 plus iota into sin 2 r pi plus 0 to the power 1 by p where r varies from 0, 1, 2 up to p minus 1. So, it can be written at cos 2 r pi by p plus iota sin 2 r pi by p. Now, we can write it as, as we know it from trigonometry, cos 2 pi by p plus iota sin 2 pi by p to the power r, where r varies from 0, 1, 2 up to p minus 1. 
Hence x can be written as beta to the power r, where beta is cos 2 pi by p plus eta sin 2 pi by p, and r varies from 0, 1 to up to p minus 1. So roots of fx are given by 1 beta beta square up to beta to the power p minus 1. And the splitting field f is obtained by adjoining 1 beta up to beta to the power p minus 1 over rational q. Or we can say we obtain the splitting field f by adjoining beta to q. Hence the degree of this splitting field f over rational uh, q will be degree of minimal polynomial of beta. And we know that degree of minimal polynomial of beta here is p minus 1. So the degree of splitting field f over rational will be p minus 1. Here p is prime. So in this lecture, we have discussed some question on the degree of the splitting field over rational. So that's all for today's lecture. Thank you.